Oh. Again we cross paths. I believe I said my name was Rena when last we met. It pleaseth me to see Torrent hale and hearty, but tarnished. What business hast thou here? I have no memory of inking thee an invitation. No reason in particular thou claimest. Intriguing. Then mayhaps fate hath steered thee to this reunion. Hmm. Wilt thou enter into my service? I am the witch Rani. I stole death long ago, and search now for the dark path, that I might one day upend the whole of it, and rid the world of all that came before. Well, has that roused thy interest? I see. A choice well made. Thou art a rare sword. Not many would have accepted the offer, but I require as much of those under my command. I anticipate good work from thee. Good. Then I ask we proceed with haste. There is, in my service, a half-woven warrior by the name of Blythe. I would have thee join him in searching for the hidden treasure of Nokron, the Eternal City. I have called for Blythe to greet thee below. Take from him the particulars. Ah, and there wilt thou find E.G., my war counselor, and Salavis, preceptor in the sorcerous arts also. Heed not their peculiarities. Feel secure in gaining from them what advantage thou canst. I am sure the others will be doing just the same. Speak with the three who await thee below. Thou needst not indulge them unduly. But they too wish to appraise thy worth. It hath been a passing long time since a newcomer entered my service, after all. Ah. Allow me to forewarn thee. I shall soon enter my slumber, and it will be some time before I wake. This doll's body is not without its hindrances. Still, I have high hopes for thee. I look forward to the good news when I arise. I shall soon enter my... And it will be some time before I... I have high hopes for thee. I look forward to the good news when I arise. Oh, a dogged fellow, aren't we? Or is it merely thy habit to talk to dolls? Fine. Fine. I hadn't expected any soul to recognize me in this guise. But now the cat is out the bag. I cannot allow thee thy freedoms. Perform for me a service as recompense. Eliminate the baleful shadows which prowl these lands. The name of Rani the Witch is already sullied by thee. I will not brook disobedience in this matter. Let us speak of the past a while. I was once an Empyrean, of the demigods. Only I, Mikola, and Melania could claim that title. Each of us was chosen by our own two fingers, as a candidate to succeed Queen Marika, to become the new god of the coming age, which is when I received Blythe in the form of a vassal tailored for an Imperium, but I would not acquiesce to the two fingers. I stole the rune of death, slew mine own Imperium flesh, casting it away. I would not be controlled by that thing. The two fingers and I have been cursing each other ever since, and the baleful shadows are their assassins. I turned my back on the two fingers, and we have each been cursing the other since. The baleful shadows are their assassins. I turned my back on the two fingers. The baleful shadows. Tell 
the two. One for it cometh. To end thy flesh with a fateful wound. Nair to heal. on her journey along the dark path of Empyrean from Rena's rise as she calls it it would not have been possible without you as Lady Rani's war counselor and moreover her childhood warden I express my deepest gratitude you and only you were Lady Rani's true champion my purpose is nearing its end. I've served Lady Rani for as long as I can remember. It has been a long and wondrous journey. Now Lady Rani is in your hands. I pray that you serve her well. And to the very end. Oh. Blythe wanted me to tell you not to bother waiting for him and head straight to Nokron. Blythe has been given an important task, apparently a matter of great urgency. You need not await, Blythe. Descend underground alone with a fallen starstruck Limgrave and make it yours, the precious treasure of Nokron, so that Lady Rani may tread the dark path of the Empyrean.
I take it thou hast noticed. I shouldn't be surprised. I thought I might expound a little further upon the order I envision. Mine will be an order not of gold, but the stars and moon of the chill night. I would keep them far from the earth beneath our feet. As it is now, life and souls and order are bound tightly together. But I would have them at a great remove, and have the certainties of sight, emotion, faith and touch all become impossibilities. Which is why I would abandon this soil with mine order. Wouldst thou come to me even now? My one and only Lord. Mine will be an order not of gold, but the stars and moon of the chill night. And I would abandon this soil with mine order. Wouldst thou come to me even now? My one and only Lord. Mine will be an and I would Wouldst thou come? So, it was thee who would become my lord. Perhaps I needn't have warned thee. I am pleased, however. Thou art a fitting choice. I go now to the night sky. It is there I shall find mine order. I bid thee, travel the path of the lord. And once all is done, we shall see each other once more. Battle is over, I see. I do solemnly swear to every living being and every living soul. Now cometh the age of the stars. A thousand year voyage under the wisdom of the moon. Here 
Beginneth the chill night that encompasses all, reaching the great beyond. Into fear, doubt, and loneliness, as the path stretcheth into darkness. Let us go together. My dear Consort Eternal. <laughs>